Hi, this is Dr. Sissel. We're going to talk about diabetes today. Um, risk factors of type 2 diabetes are family history. Um, over 45 years old increases with age. If you're 45 years old or over, um, type 2 diabetes increases. Race or, race or ethnic, ethnic background. Um, greater than Hispanics, African Americans, Native Americans, and Asians. Insulin resistance syndrome is common um, for type 2 diabetics. It's indicative of when you're tired after you get done eating. Uh, you shouldn't be tired when you're done eating. Uh, being overweight is definitely a risk. Um, high blood pressure, abnormal cholesterol levels, history of gestational diabetes, and inactivity um, due to lack of exercise. In the United States, over 70 million people have diabetes. <clears throat> One in two people are pre-diabetic. 25% of people don't even know they have diabetes. 1.5 million new cases of diabetes are diagnosed each year. And it's been said that nearly all cases of diabetes are treatable and curable with proper diet and lifestyle. Type 2, type, type two diabetes was one of those adult onset type diabetes, but records um, now show that kids as young as five years old um, being diagnosed with diabetes. There's no more, um, you know, adolescent diabetes, it's just diabetes. There's no more adult onset. It's We know kids are getting it all the time now. Um, Wake Forest University in North Carolina said the risk of heart failure in patients taking diabetes drugs can be up to 100% higher than those who forego the drugs. More than 65% of all people with diabetes eventually die of heart disease. Um, the question they ask a lot is Avandia, the new Vioxx. An estimated lifetime cost for diabetes are man or woman diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at the age of 50. Um, years, the estimated cost of that for them is $172,000 if you have type 2 diabetes and you get diagnosed at the age of 50. Diagnosed age of di with diabetes at the age of 30, lifetime costs are around $305,000. So, is it the cost of ignorance is the problem? You know, the reality is people get diabetes a lot of the time because it's a lifestyle and diet caused disease. And so, we got to talk about what we're gonna do and try to help get you through it or avoid diabetes altogether. <clears throat> and so we, we discussed this treatments or shots that concentrate merely on lowering blood sugar by raising insulin levels actually worsen rather than remedy the actual problems of metabolic miscommunication. So improving that, so let's talk about diabetes in and of itself and what happens in a normal cell um, glucose, when you eat glucose, it gets brought into a cell, turns into energy, and then the waste products are excreted out of the cell. The body, the body uses insulin to move sugar into the cell for energy rather than leaving it in the bloodstream. So remember, your blood stream cannot have one, more than one to two teaspoons of sugar in it at, the, at once or it will develop a coma, you'll go into a coma. So what happens is it excretes the cell, the, I mean, gets the sugar out of the blood, puts it into the cells, produces energy, you feel great. If too much um, sugar gets tried to, can, gets converted to energy, um, then we uh, have issues. And so what happens is insulin, one job is, of it is to uh, put sugar into the cell. It's insulin receptors, glucose attaches, puts them in the cell, makes energy, and that's how life goes. If you get too much sugar getting put in, um, the constant bombardment of sugar onto into the cell, into insulin, will cause insulin to start to burn out. And when insulin receptors start to burn out, no longer can you put sugar into the cell as well. So what happens is it puts it into fat tissues. And so we, and one of the, among other things, and what happens is now then you develop insulin resistance, which is AKA type two diabetes. Um, and so you go into the doctor and you feel tired and lethargic and you're not sleeping very well or you're sleeping a lot and waking up exhausted. They're going to then check your blood sugar and see that you've got, what, massive amounts of blood, I mean sugar in your blood, and then cause you and then they're going to put you on some sort of type 2 diabetic medication, um, which what will happen is the type 2 diabetic medication puts artificial insulin into your body causes then insulin to put the sugar in the cell, you get energy, you're not tired anymore, blah, 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 That's you're doing great. Well, prolonged use of um, type 2 diabetic medication um, will cause the insulin receptors to almost die 
and they're gone and now you can't get insulin into the cell at all and what happens with that is that you develop type 1 diabetes um, which means you're insulin dependent and you need insulin forever not only <clears throat> does that become a problem but also puts massive amounts of strain on your heart and causes all kinds of issues so what should have happened when you went to the doctor feeling lethargic and tired and not sleeping feeling tired when you wake up after sleeping a long time is they should have changed your diet and gotten you exercising and if they would have done that then you would have noticed by removing sugar from your diet it would have allowed your body to heal naturally um, and so forth so we need to get you to work on changing your diet not only if you have diabetes but now because one in two people have pre-diabetes and don't even know it um, so the major thing you gotta do is eliminate all grains um, Brie, rye, wheat bread, cereals, oats, oatmeal, barley, corn, soy. You want to eliminate all that stuff. Avoid anything that is white, um, bleached, flour enriched, refined, or has added sugar. Spinach pasta and tortillas would be a good, um, instead of pasta, rice, flour, all that stuff. Absolutely no pasta, rice, potatoes, breads or of any kind should be eaten. Eliminate all sugars, including fruits, until your blood sugar is under control. So you do not want to eat fruit for a long, for a while, a couple months, until your blood sugar is under control. And you do that by just getting blood tests. Broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, squash, quinoa, all very good for you to start to eat. Um, so you want to you really must eliminate all sugars and everything that turns to sugar. So carbohydrate. Um, lowering carbohydrate consumption is a huge deal. Eliminate grains, sugars, and fruit, except for berries, grapefruit, and Granny Smith apples. You can eat those in moderation. Even healthy grains rapidly turn to sugar, so don't let that fool you. You do not want to eat grains or fruit for quite a while, a couple, two or three months. Protein consumption is moderate. Your intake um, of protein for a man should be about 20 grams a meal. If you're working out um, daily, you'd be able to eat 25 grams a meal. Um, 15 grams per meal with women if you're working out 20. Remember if you eat too much protein it turns to sugar, it breaks down into sugar and then you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Fats as we discussed in the fat um, video I placed the other day, increase your intake of healthy fats two to three weeks into this sort of plan if you will. You would want to start to increase your fats like crazy, um, essentially avoiding all of your uh, sugars and fats. I mean eliminating all your sugars and adding what you would, would have been eating in sugars with fat. So that would be um, one major thing that you want to do. Um, good fats are a huge, huge deal for you. You just got to make sure um, that you're really using good fats and not bad fats as we discussed the trans fats and all that stuff earlier. Um, so <sighs> diabetes and avoiding it and heart disease essentially and all that stuff. Um, the diet is a very, very big deal of how to do so. So remember, no carbohydrates for quite a while, two to three months, um, removing all things white out of your diet. Do not eat any grains, oatmeal, cereal. Never eat low fat or skim milk. Um, and you're, if you're gonna eat, drink milk, it needs to be raw or really, really organic, um, whatever that means. Um, Cause there's some problems with the, the word organic now and when they can use it and how they can use it and it's really not that organic um, they just allow you to use things and label them organic if they're a certain percentage organic so um, if you have any questions please just leave me um, some comments on this um, again diabetes a lot of people have it they don't even know you're pre-diabetic you have insulin resistance the key is to remove sugar from your diet replace sugars with good fats start to exercise. We'll discuss exercise in the next few uh, days or so. Um, get a hold of me if you need to. Subscribe to my channel. Um, have a great day.